I don't know if I ever, ever, ever in my life want to do that, that again. Aren't we supposed to be on the trails? Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. It is day 23 on the Trans Euro Trail, riding 2,000 miles off-road through England and Wales to reach the border to Scotland. We just had a lovely late breakfast at Greg's, which is like £2.80 or something for a coffee and a sausage sandwich. You can't get better than that, can you? No, you can't. Breakfast and a coffee for 285. I love Greg's. We are here in the town of Kendal, just next to the Lake District. And we had a pretty slow morning this morning. It was raining until 10 a.m. This morning, I felt so shattered. After the last few days, we have been really, really, really pushing to get as far as we can on trail because there's supposed to be really bad weather coming. So we've been putting in a lot of hours and then yesterday it was raining the whole afternoon it was super cold super wet i woke up this morning absolutely dead yeah me too actually but anyway we are not giving up just now whilst it's not raining we are going to try and continue the trail so let me show you guys where we're going to try and get to today so we are here and today we are going to be starting this loop into the heart of the lake district national park after conquering the Peak District and the Yorkshire Dales National Parks, we're going to be heading today into the Lake District National Park, which is both the largest national park in England, but it also has the highest mountains in England. So I think it's going to be a crazy trail. A nice scenic ride combined with crazy trails. So we have just rooted ourselves to the beginning of the trail, which is not that far, a couple of miles. But yeah, it is already, oh my God, 10 past 12 and we have a long way to go so better hit the trails let's go look how many freaking chimneys are on top of these houses that's mental i don't know what it is about this area but it seems to be the area of chimneys yeah i mean how, look how many chimneys are on every single chimney <laughs> i mean some of these houses must have about 12 chimneys at the top crazy i mean we saw in the airbnb that we just stayed in that they had actually a fireplace in every single room so i think it's a really traditional setup or it's just that it's really really cold here yeah probably both <laughs> have officially entered the Lake District National Park and this is our very first trail. Quite rocky, quite muddy. Quite rocky, quite muddy. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> but guys, it literally rained for probably the last 12 hours straight. So we will see how that affects the trails. So far, so good. And look how beautiful it is with the sun though. It's always beautiful with the sun. It's not a bad start to our Lake District trails. <laughs> no. <laughs> not a bad start at all. Yeah. Did you go around? No, no, I went, I went through the side bit. Well, I would just go through the middle here, no? Yeah, go through the middle. But just, yeah, just be a little bit careful on that soft stuff. Okay. Oh, yep. Oh, whoa! That was yeah. definitely very soft, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're learning about the different conditions of the mud as well. Some mud is very slidey, some mud is less slidey. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is, how can you tell? How can you tell? You have to ride through and see if you slide or not. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a longer puddle here. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, oh, uh, it's okay. Oh, 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 a little bit slidey. I think if you stick in the middle, it's okay. Made it out alive. Yes. 
Let me pick some blackberries. Just a few. Blackberries. Wait, wait, wait. They're really inviting here. Wow. Yeah, they look good, Ollie. Have them all. Mmm. Seriously, Ollie. Wow. Mmm. That's worth it. You want a few more? Give me a hand. Mmm. Whoa! Sweetheart, we're supposed to be on trail. We're supposed to be riding the roads. <laughs> we're supposed to be taking on the rocky slopes of the Lake District. Not eating blackberries. One of my favorite things here in England. Open and closing gates. Okay, so far so good. Oh, oh. I slipped. I slipped. Very slippery, actually. Very slippery. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. There's literally a river running down this road. Look at this. Yeah. And my feet are wet again. We're riding up a slippery stone river. Don't know if this is the best trail in history, but it's there. Oh, you want some slippery rock? Yes, please. Are you stuck? What are you stuck on? Okay, let me give you a push. Three, two, one, go. Wait a second. Three, two, one, go. That's it. You're up the rock now. I saw. Ready? Go. Yeah, it's just a little bit of slippery rocks. That's all. I took this road though. <laughs> we are just coming up to Lake Windermere, the longest and largest lake in England. And I think we've got a little ferry ride this afternoon. <laughs> cool. All passengers pay on board ferry. Perfect. Yeah. Is this ferry coming towards us right now? Yes, it is, hey? Or is it going on? Uh, I think it's coming towards us. Do you know when the ferry is leaving? Straight after. Just straight after. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Here it is. Lake Windermere. Wow. Oh, yeah, the ferry's coming now, isn't it? He's saying go. Nice. So I got all the way to the end. Thank you. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. On a boat in England. Yes. And how much did you say it was? Like I, I think it was really cheap, like 270 or something. No way, look. There's a jet fighter going overhead. Wow! That's mental! Seriously, in my next life, this is my job. Jet fighter pilot. Yes. <laughs> Let's just try to master this little 125 motorcycle first, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, and we're going already. Wow! Nice! we go we just crossed the largest lake in England yeah thank you bye bye thank you oh cool there we go nice views of the lake and Lake Windermere as I said before is the largest and longest lake in England it is 11 miles long 
and covers an area of 5.89 square miles. And the Lake District is also home to the deepest lake in England, which is West Water, which is 279 feet deep. We're just having our first break of the day and we are already starting to see mountains! Yes! We found them! Finally! Because the first few green lanes we've been on today were like, couldn't see anything. Yeah, it was just very, very wet and it felt like that we were sort of riding through a river the whole time. So it is nice that we're starting to get a little bit higher and I'm excited to get into those bad boys over there. Yeah, they look beautiful. Really, really beautiful. But first we will have some... Sausage rolls from Greg. Four rolls for the price of three. I'll take that. Pretty good. It's like really in the riverbed here, hey? Yeah. Just keeping one foot <laughs> paddling along. Yeah. Very gravelly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't know if I ever, ever, ever in my life want to do that, that again. <laughs> that was like scary as hell. Yeah, it looks like the trail's gonna go even a little bit higher now. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. It's gonna be interesting. I think now it looks like that we have entered the national park. <laughs> oh my God. There are some rocky roads ahead, hey? <sighs> yep. Welcome to the Lake District. Look, it's basically a river running down the center of the trail. I mean, what is this? <laughs> Why is there so much water on this road? Okay, right. Are you ready to get into the mountains? Kind of. Kind of is good enough for me. Let's just see first if our bikes can get up this these rocks are quite slippery. They are, oh, hey? oh, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow look at these views that is absolutely crazy oh my god honestly how can we possibly ride here i don't know i don't know this is definitely going to be a day of challenges yeah but a day of beautiful landscapes
Going down the river, <laughs> going down the river, <laughs> big downhill steep river, because this is the Lake District. And apparently all the trails in the Lake District are just downhill rivers. Also, I hit all the rocks. Ooh. You managed to go round the rocks. Yeah, I really tried to, but it's not possible. I hit them all. I just can't believe how much water's on this road. Yeah. I mean, it's the entire path. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It's oh, it's blocked. A oh, there's a tree. Oh, no. We'll go have a look at it. I'll see if I've got a chainsaw in my bag. <sighs> anyway, thank you for letting us know. Thank you. So apparently the guys told us that there is a tree down just up ahead that is blocking the path. So that might be it for us on this path at least. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm not sure this is going to be one of those that I can actually uh, do anything about, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, look how high it is up here. We can't really get up there. Oh, look, a jet. That's so loud. Have a look up there and see if it's doable. Oh, there's another one. Whoa! Wow, those are loud. Very loud. Is there a trail that you can ride? Well, up here, yes, but I don't know where it goes. Let me see where this one here goes. Where is this one here going? Oh yeah, no, it's not really going anywhere. Oh, I was so proud of me going down this hill. Now I have to ride up it, which I didn't want to do. Oh, it's such a shame because there was literally only about 200 meters of trail left. And then afterwards, it's back to the road there. Now we're going to go back to here uh -huh. and then all the way around, round oh. to there. Oh, well, back we go. So we are now approaching the tallest mountains in the Lake District National Park. Whoa, and we got some big puddles. Whoa. Whoa! And I think it's the perfect time to tell you guys a little bit more about this amazing national park. So the Lake District National Park was actually the second national park designated in the UK. It was designated only one month before the Peak District National Park in 1951. But it is the largest national park covering an area of 912 square miles. And the National Park is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site designated in 2017. So not only is the park home to the largest lake in England, Lake Windermere, but it's also home to the tallest mountain which is this mountain right in front of us, Scarfell Pike, 978 meters tall. Now the name Scarfell Pike comes from the Old Norse, scar meaning bald and fell, which is another word for hill. And pike is also the Old English word for mountain. So Scarfell Pike is like the bald headed hill mountain, something like that. And this entire mountain range is called the Cumbrian Mountains, Wow, look at those views. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a green lane, hey? I can't believe it. Yeah. It's just running right in front of this amazing mountain. And how big the waterfall is at the moment. Well, I'm not surprised considering what these roads look like. Whoa. Well, there we go. This is the view. Very, very nice views. And these are the views that would have inspired poets and writers for hundreds of years, including Beatrix Potter, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, William Wordsworth. In fact, Wordsworth's poem, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, was inspired when he was on the shores of Lake Ambleside in the Lake District. But the region was first brought to the attention of artists and writers when it was mentioned in the Grand Tour of Thomas Gray in 1769. The Grand Tour was a journey of enlightenment basically taken on by rich people in the 1700s. And the Grand Tour also took people down into European places like Paris and Rome. But they included the Lake District as well. 
So it holds a very special place in English culture, in English history, and it's inspired many a beautiful written word. Coming into the little village of Elterwater, and I tell you what, I absolutely love these little Lake District villages. I mean, look at this place here, Slates. Oh yeah, it's actually called Slates. Yeah, yeah, because these buildings are actually made of slate. Like not just the roof, like most buildings, but the entire, like the entire house. How crazy is that? That is pretty cool. <laughs> it's nice that the tracks are a little bit wider here so you can play around a little bit more i mean the way the lake district trail started off i was a bit like mm, i don't know how this is going to be but i mean look where we are now yeah that's pretty nice right up in the mountains on this beautiful track you never know with the trans euro trail hey you never know what you're gonna get no but i tell you what there is no trail like the trans euro trail uk it is a mad trail look at this area here beautiful everything that you can see in england and wales hey yeah who would have thought who would have thought hey we'll just go down first and a gate again. England apparently is the land of gates. Yeah, it is the land of the gates. <sighs> and my shoes are soaking wet. Cool, they've got here an honesty fridge. And uh, look what they've got. Loads of drinks, twirls and ice creams. But I think it's a bit too cold for ice cream, hey? It's freezing, but I think we can definitely go for a Pepsi. You have Ribena? Okay, you have Ribena. Do you want a twirl? Okay, let's grab a twirl. Okay, cool. And then you can even pay by bank transfer. Look at that. Bon appetit. Wow, what a day of mountain trails that has been. But it's now nearly six o'clock, so it's time to head for a camp. So we're going to be heading now through the village of Coniston and then heading to another village called Hawkshead where there seems to be a couple of camps. So we're going to go check those out and see if they've got space for us. at option one but there's a big sign saying sorry site full uh i'll go and ask just in case just in case hello i'm um, just double checking uh that you are full for a small tent see the oh see the boss in there okay i'll, I'll ask thank you Hello, hi. We just drive riding past and I saw the sign that said it was full, but we have like a small tent, is it? It's two people with a small tent. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll talk to my wife about it. Hello, dog. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll just chat to her, okay? Thank you. So, they did have availability for us here, actually, in the end, but they wanted 31 pounds that is a little bit pricey for us so we found a YHA campsite just a little bit down the road in Hawkshead so we're just going to go check that out first see their pricing 
and uh, if they're closed or more expensive then we'll come back to these guys because 31 pounds is quite on the limit for us if we do end up staying there it's going to be the most expensive campsite that we have been to so far welcome to YHA Hawkshead come on guys do you do camping I mean they've got like glamping but I don't know if they do camping Whoa, look at this. Quite a nice haul, isn't it? Well, I better go ask. So unfortunately, these guys don't accept tents and all their rooms are booked. So it looks like we've got to head back to the other campsite and uh, just pay the 31 pounds, I guess. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy to live. Whoop, 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 whoop. We have our cozy little camp all set up and it just started raining a little bit. So I'm really glad that we got all of this done before the rain came. But wow, there was a really scenic ride today actually. And I just dropped my bike once, which is actually not too bad. Considering sometimes it was quite gnarly actually. We had a lot of steep uphills, steep downhills. It was a whole lot of rocky trails. Plus nearly all of them were covered in like a whole river of water. So I think you did really well. Yes, we have to see how the trails tomorrow will be because they said that it will rain for the whole night pretty much. I have no idea how that's going to be tomorrow. We will see, hey? <laughs> so we will just chill out in the tent, we will cook some dinner and then have a cozy night. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. So this is what it's looking like for tonight. Rain, 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 rain. And this is what it's looking like for the rest of the week. Oh my God. 100%, 65%, 45%, 50%. I think we're gonna to have to be very lucky to miss all of this rain over the next couple of days.